So we pick back up in the treetop cafe. What would you guys like to do? Who is this to? This is to Mist and Oji, who are currently in the back room, after having a astonishing realization that Mist is not a tabaxi. So, what do you want to do about it? I mean, how do you, how do you I want don't. To go forward? I don't think I know if this is something I want to share with everyone else. At least not yet. And I mean, I don't have to now. At least not till wings start growing, right? Well, it's uh, it's you. It's your privacy. I've kept it from you for this long. I can certainly. I would like to have words with Grandma, though. Yeah, I'd like to figure out why my, someone that could be my grandma was here. I don't understand how that's possible. Me either. It, it sounds actually very impossible. But I guess we need to maybe tell them something. Maybe we can tell them about my grandma, but unless someone asks, I'm not telling them I have wings yet. Well, it might be just a coincidence, right? Everyone's got, you know, people that they look like, possibly. Could be that. But I don't even know. I mean, it might not even happen to me. You don't know. She looks like she's maybe not sure. She's trying to convince herself of this, or Oji. Well, if it happens, it happens, and you know I'll be there for you. Okay. As long as you promise. No. I don't like to break my promises. Okay. Well, I guess we should go back out, or else they're going to wonder what we're doing, aren't they? Well, probably. Even more. i got to keep an eye on on at least one of them. Make, keep, make sure they don't get into trouble. Probably already in trouble. One thing I did notice, though, I don't know if you did. When we were walking through town, people were staring at us. Yeah. Maybe we need to do something about that, too. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. It, didn't you see the way people were staring at us? The way we were walking when we were walking through? It was weird. Yeah. Honestly, I was pretty preoccupied at the time. I don't know. You look. I thought it seemed weird. No, no, I get what you're saying, though. I just, uh... Well, you're the people person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll keep an eye out for that. But, um, I got some, uh... I got something I gotta do. Because I promised you I would get ingredients for cookies, and I have yet to do that. And I think I should do that. Yay. I'm in. Alright, well, let's go talk to the others and maybe talk to talk to Mima there and see what we can do. Okay, you first. Ding. All right. So you guys head into the front room, and you can yeah. see that your the rest of your party has been ushered to a little booth table in the back corner. It's right by a window, but it's got some cute little curtains on it, and there are little cat uh, treesums, like actual cat treesums that are just sort of... Some of them are laying on the table, some of them are in your laps, or behind your shoulders, mm -hmm. and just purring. It's like a cat cafe. Oh my gosh. And Yogurt, the grandma work in question, is currently taking your orders. Just giving you a menu. It's like a basic cafe menu. So, go from there. Um, how busy is the cafe? Uh, it's not like, oh my god, we're about to pass out we're low on servers but it's busy and what time of day is it 
It's about mm, one two ish. One two ish. Okay, so this is post rush. Yeah. Um. So if it's this busy post rush, all right. I got an angle. I got an angle. So. At, I'm gonna say at the table. Uh, Zuma is staring at the menu and is just going. And it's looked up at yogurt. And it's like, um, I'm not certain we'd be able to pay you for whatever we ask for. Uh, yogurt shakes her head and just smiles and says, it's, it's on the house. It's on the house. Oh, well, greatly appreciate that. Um, in that case... I think, also, question, out of character, is the menu in below? Yes. Okay. Damn it. So, Zulu, I was just gonna look it over and be like, look at the, everyone else at the table, Rhea, Ahsoka, and Vitani. He's gonna order for Vitani. Um, because he already knows her preferences. But he's gonna kind of be like, tell me what you usually drink at your places, and I can see what might fit. Um, he's like, for me, I'll have this. Oh, is anything on this menu familiar to any of them, actually? It's a bunch of teas. Yeah, it is like hot chocolates. It's milks and things. It's it's like a basic cafe. All of you have had cafes of some sort. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So he's gonna ask for like, I'll just get a black tea. Um. Whichever blend you have, and Vitani here is going to. Oh boy. She would probably ask if you serve alcohol, but I'm going to assume no. Uh, yogurt, just get her. Yogurt's just gonna like lift an eyebrow and go, not until after dark. I see, I see. Um, hot chocolate. Anybody else have any taste in what you like to drink? Um... Ahsoka's just kind of like looking. She can't read it, obviously, but she's just she just points to one and it happens to be just like a cinnamon hot chocolate. Please tell me that the menu is upside down in your hands. It is very upside down, yes. <laughs> yes. Raya's looking so, at it with her. <laughs> Zuma's gonna see where she points and just read out uh cinnamon hot chocolate. Uh does that sound good, Ahsoka? It's upside yeah. down, by the way. Oh, uh, I don't care. Yes, that sounds good. Okay, so what are those? <laughs> and Rhea? Uh, if you like tea, um, there's, like, you know, yeah. white tea, green tea, black tea. Don't know what kind of teas you had. I, mean, I guess but... like an herbal tea of some sort, really. Dealer's choice? What? Healer's choice. Uh, sure. Alright. Uh, so Yogurt collects the menus from you guys. And the main attraction is sort of the roundhouse. It, it's the cats, obviously, because it's the cat cafe. But it's also, like, these dessert trays and dessert, like, tiers that are in the front behind, like, glass cabinets and things. But then you do see people that have, like, actual, like, Little teas and little little bowls of soup and things that are just sitting around. They're chatting. Some of them occasionally will glance at you, but it's just a very chill atmosphere. It's sort of a no-judgment atmosphere, and you get the feeling that if anybody does say anything to you, the fact that Yogurt exists in this cafe and is the runner of this cafe means that their head would come off their shoulders. <laughs> that looks... So Yogurt goes and she starts to make all of your drinks. At that time, while she's doing that, 
Mist and RG return from the back room. Hey. Uh, Zulamar waves them over and. Does anyone else feel extremely out of place? Yeah. Oh, that's what she said. I point to Mist. <laughs> I don't know. I like Did we, you guys we just look. We we're getting looks. Is that something we could look around the room, DM, to see if anyone was even like? You said they were chill, but they are staring at you occasionally. Like they're trying. It's like you know when you're when you feel when you're feeling it. Whatever outfit you're in, you're feeling it. But you know that other people are probably going to be like, mm. they're giving you that kind of a look. They're giving you that kind of look. It's like when you go out uh, to to a uh, public and cosplay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zuma's gonna point at. Well, he's gonna just be, point around and be like, "Um, we. I've yet to see anyone dressed anything like us." Yeah. Uh, They're wearing uh, very different attire than we are. With <laughs> that. Uh, with, with mentioning of that, Oji pulls out one of his regular devices, puts it down on the table with a metallic clunk, sits down, and just and, and he starts right there out in the open, giving no shits about anyone looking at him. And he just he just says, "You all look different, from me too. I'm kind of used to it." Their outfits don't look like they're very protective, though. Well, this isn't exactly a a, a, a battle town. They're not going yeah. out there having to survive the shit that we do. So, they're and dressed for the occasion. I know we kind of run here, and that's also another thing I didn't really understand. I heard something that called me to this place, but I now I'm starting to wonder what it was. Anyway, but like I feel like we just came from battling for our lives to we're sitting in this strange place being served tea and cake. You said you saw cake? Or something. <clears throat> yeah, no, there's cake. Sweets. There's cake. Uh, <laughs> Mist has cookies on the brain and she is interested. <laughs> <laughs> The whole front of the counter, by the way, is covered in pastries and, like, display shelves for different types of cakes and pastries and things like that. Can I see the server from her seat, like, making the drinks? Uh, yogurt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can see yogurt. <laughs> Sorry. You can also see a couple of other, like, waitresses that are flittering back and forth. And waiters. Is yogurt by said delightful snacks? Yes. Uh, okay. They missed it. Go up to the snack bar. Okay. Uh, and she's just gonna like, if there's some sort of sneeze guard, I assume, is just gonna like have her feet like just pressed against it, like her hands pressed against it, and is just looking pleased, and then keeps looking up at yogurt, like waiting for her to notice. <laughs> when yogurt does turn around she sees you and she stops like holding this tray of all the drinks and she just smiles and goes see anything you like uh yeah can we get and she's just gonna point to a whole bunch of them like probably more than necessary <laughs> can we get one of each of those all right. Yeah. And can I, out of character, look around and see what, like, are people using the bills to purchase things? Like, is it obvious that it's money? Uh, yeah, some people, they're, they have little, they're getting, like, to-go boxes of cake and things, and they're, like, handing over the bills. You see that, bot, like, a couple of feet from you to your right. Or, like, some people using the card versus, like... The next customer brings up a different... Have we seen the card being used yet, either? Uh, currently, it's just the bills, but if you wait a little while, depending, you'd probably see somebody using a card, yeah. And is there any sort of denomination or writing on the bills to tell me what they may be worth? 
Uh, it's in below, but I yeah. Below. Uh, there's uh one, ten, twenty, thirty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Please tell me they look like Canadian money. <laughs> I told you we what have... it looks like. So when she, like, after mess points to the food, she's gonna pull out one of the middle-ish denomination mm-hmm. monies. Two blue, one green, two red. And she will put that out on the table and be like, is this? And when she does that, she will also use her cantrip. All right. Uh, is this enough? Yogurt is going to laugh and push some money back towards you and just say, I'm not making, I'm not making my grandbaby pay for anything. Oh, well, thank you. She's not sure if she's comfortable with this. Because it seems like a handout. But she's going to just like awkwardly go back to the table and not say anything. <laughs> it takes a minute because you did get a bunch of different types of desserts and things. But eventually yogurt and another little waiter um, who is about half yogurt size and is a treesum. They come over with two big trays. One of them has all of the drinks on it, and they're setting things down. And then they bring like a pitcher of water and all of the key, the like the, the cakes and the cookies and the like yeah. crepes and things like that. And they spread them out on the table. And yogurt smiles and says, "If you need me, I'm gonna be out front. Okay, you stay here as long as you need to." Wait. Okay. Because I, I, I'm actually gonna get up, and I'm gonna approach yogurt, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say, "Hey." um, I'm, uh, and it, it just awkward, just like, um, uh, thanks for the, uh, the, 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 the drinks and all that, but, um, do you need an extra pair of hands in the kitchen? Uh, um, yogurt's just gonna look really confused and just kind of shrug and go, not, Right now? The reason why I'm asking, um, I need to get some ingredients because I promised Mist over there that I would bake some cookies. But in order to do that, I need access to an oven and ingredients, and I'm willing to work for it. If you need someone to help prep or stuff or anything like that, I've worked in a soup kitchen. I know what I'm doing in a kitchen. I help out, not step on any toes. If you need any goon work, well, I've got an extra pair of hands. And I point over to uh, Andrea, and uh, you know, I just, uh, I just want to thank you. You know, this too. You know, family. It's just what happens when you, you know, you're with family. Yeah, that's that's why I want to help, because family. All right. I want you to go in the back. Instead yeah. of taking a right, go straight down to the hall, into right. the back, you knock three times, you wait, count to three, in your head, don't count out loud, then knock one more time, and Guacamole's gonna open the door, and he's going to scream at you. And I, I don't mean words, he's just going to scream, and you're just gonna stand there, and then we, if you don't flinch, or if you just don't Bark back, he'll let you in, and he'll tell you what to do. He's a chef to take it. Yeah. You could... He's... He's guacamole. Yeah, sounds like a chef. Yeah, don't worry about it. I can, I've, I've handled worse. Miss is going to have you. a really large bite of cake in her mouth, and she's going to look at Oji and, like, speak through the cake. Are you good? Uh, no, we're good. The car- we're good. The cake is caramel toffee, by the way. Amazing. Um, and then I say in Dwarven um, to, to Mist in a sweet voice, which is used to disguise the fact that I'm actually saying. I'm also going to see if I can ask some questions, find out what's going on. Um, possibly the mystery with you and yogurt. Uh, maybe you could look into that. 
uh, you know, two different places we can cover more ground. <laughs> she just nods with her mouth full <laughs> and then she'll like push the cakes out to the table so it's right. indicating to others to share as well and Oji will of course sneak as he heads to the back All right. he's just not going to eat it in front of everybody and go to the back follow the instructions great when the door opens a gust of hot air billows out and before you stands a tall tall man he almost like hits the door frame he has six arms he is completely red his eyes have slits in them down to the bottom of his jaw that are just pure black. And when he opens his mouth, he screams. And it sounds like a little girl who has just been frightened on her birthday. Oh, that was not the reaction I was expecting. Um, uh, you must be uh, guacamole. Yes? Uh. Yeah, um, Yogurt sent me back here to uh, help you out if you need any sort of prep work, anything like that done, even dishes done. Me and a uh, pair of hands here, and I point to the, <laughs> the Andrea behind me. We'll get it done for you. We'll do the bitch work so you don't have to. Uh, Guacamole looks at you and then slowly lifts one hand after the other to show all six of his hands. And just looks confused, but steps aside to let you in the room. Uh, once you step inside, I'm assuming with Andrea, he just goes cake, and he nods. Except for he says it in a much deeper voice, I just didn't do his voice. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to, uh, like a good, uh, donkey, I'm going to follow the chef's orders. Uh, the thing is, um, I think this is the right word. Aphasia. Aphasia? You know what that word means? Yeah, I know what a, uh, aphasia is. Okay, is that the word I'm thinking of, where you can only say one word? Mm, not quite, but okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah, all guacamole knows how to say at present is cake. So you're going to have to deal with a lot of context clues and a lot of pantomime. That's fine. So, let me see. I'm going to have you roll. You know what, it's mostly an endurance check. So, I'm going to have you roll... Just a straight strength check. Strength check? Yeah. Right. Do is this for uh for the cooking ability? Uh, no, grunt work to start with. You're going to be moving a bunch of big boxes and things. Athletics. All right. Um, I'm gonna delegate that shit to Andrea. Fuck it. <laughs> well, then have Andrea roll a strength check. That I can do. Da -da 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 -da. Andrea rolls a natural 20. Woo, woo, woo! Go blue dice. All right, you get to be on my dice that I use more often than the others. Come on strong for your Andrea. first roll with this set. <laughs> there we go. All right. So... While you're back there, Guacamole has you moving boxes, moving ingredients, cleaning shelves. Occasionally, you will put garnish on top of little things. You will put these little delicate cakes that you're just so confused how those big meaty maw hands can make that have all of these like little like clockwork designs on them or little like swirls that go around the cake entirely. And he will hand you 
this plate that is so much smaller than basically his fingers, and you will have to put them on a lip to where it can get transferred to the kitchen. And eventually, right. you do that for a while. Let's just say that. Mm hmm And eventually, Guacamole's like, cake, and goes and sits down, and then just waves at the rest of the kitchen and you. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna take that as it's uh, my turn to start making. Um, and um, I'm gonna see if there's any orders that- oh, I can't read any orders. Um, <laughs> I'm here to do prep, so um, I'm gonna try to see if there's any ingredients that are low, um, anything that I can prepare in advance while having the Andrea continue to do the grunt work because that's what Andrea is good at, and it never gets tired, so. Roll an insight check for me. Okay. That was not a natural 20. But it's okay, I'm good at insight. Uh, 14. Okay. When Guacamole sat down and waved at the kitchen mm -hmm. and then at you, he wasn't asking you to do prep work. He was giving you the kitchen. Oh, well, even better. Let's let's make some cookies. Let's go. Do you make cookies? Let's go back to the group that's sitting around the table for a little while. What are you guys doing? Have we gotten our drinks yet? Yes, you've gotten your drinks and your okay. cakes and all of that. Uh, Ahsoka's gonna obnoxiously just start, just start sipping her drink. Do you want, do you want to sip it, like, with a straw or just straight out of the cup? Mm. Out of the cup. I was actually drinking, so I wanted to make the noise real. Fuck yeah. Uh, bendy straws and curly straws are available upon request, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, uh, Zuma is, you know, politely eating a small piece of cake and poking Zatani every time she stops eating. Um, and he's just observing the space and the differences between his group here and the other patrons. All right. And then it's just. Go hmm? Ahead. Sorry. Oh. Go ahead. I, oh. I thought Sona was going to say something. I was just going to say the cakes and the pastries and the drinks are all very delicious. They're not too sweet, but they're sweet enough that. It feels like it was made just for you. For just the right temperature, just the right taste, just enough sugar, just enough cinnamon, just just enough. It's very relaxing and it's just nice and it just tension that's been building in you guys because of everything that's been going on and whatever the fuck is in this world, it just slowly eases out of your shoulders. And you notice that it's sort of happening to other people too. They come in here, they're tense, they're frustrated, and they'll get a table where they'll just get something to go, but before they leave, that tension slowly eases out of their shoulders. What kind of brewer's choice tea did Rhea get? Rhea got some... I'm gonna look up some teas. <laughs> try. To be well, nice. herbal. well, Rhea ordered herbal, so it wouldn't be a try. Oh. Damn it. I mean, he did say for his I know they were going to bring me something different. Zulmar got a black tea, so he could have a chai. I am just looking up. It's okay, you don't have to go that and go. I was just teasing. 
you underestimate the I know. bullshit. I, say, I know this, my is the exact, this is the exact kind of information you would give me. So <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I try to anger Drake with, but I know you'll come up with it in a heartbeat. <laughs> Exactly about one of his favorite subjects. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting it. <laughs> so what kind of cookies are you making, Drake? Tasty. <laughs> the internet is being stupid and unhelpful. Wait. Oh, that's actually a really cute little dimple. Alright, you know what? It is a hibiscus and plum tea with uh, orange zest as sort of a sprinkler on the rim of the glass with a little strawberry flower oh. as a garnish. Um... Zulmar's gonna kind of look around and then look back at the group and just ask. I realize that we look out of place. However, do we want to change our attire? My concern is we're not, as Ahsoka pointed out, they're not very protected and we don't know what we'll be up against. So, a good question. If this is just the lay over for us, why would we want to? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Mist's vote. <laughs> if y'all aren't already Googling what you're going to buy for your character, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> True, but I'm wondering what the rest of this world is like. We've only seen part of it. What was Marzipan and them dressed in? Uh, jeans, t-shirt, lab coat. Uh, Laurel was naked. Fair. I mean, I guess a lab coat wouldn't be strange for like the people of Brother Bishop or something. Mm. Might be a little off. Out of place for someone from Mother Maiden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little more of a tire. Like, <laughs> what? 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 Like, well, like, we also don't really have funds. I, I don't know what kind of currency they deal with in here. Because <laughs> we blew all our money on bear sticks and books. <laughs> well, I mean, they were also dealing in trade, and then Butter was dealing in memories, so what are they asking for? Are they asking for souls? A oh second God. to uh, respond, because she's still got a lot of food in her mouth, and she's gonna, like, <laughs> rustle through her pockets and pull out the card and put it on the table, and after she finally finishes a large gulp, she's gonna say, oh, she says that this has a computer in it. And I found it in with someone's money. I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> but a computer in it? you only have you the card, or do you have, have the money? We think we it might be able to be used for payment. So I don't know. Hmm. Well, marzipan. And then we're dressed similarly with the weird pants. Maybe we should get something for if we have to blend in. Do we yeah. have to? No, I mean I know I don't. I mean I guess that's what we're doing right now is we're taking a vote. I mean, as long as we don't have to trade our current clothes. I wouldn't trade it, I'm just saying something. Exactly. Do. If we're not getting rid of these in the process, then I don't see the harm in having additional. Just be something else to carry it. around if whenever we're in a city like this. Because if the rest of the world is similar, or I say world, but 
and if it's below is similar to this. I don't think we want to stick out all the time. True. It makes sense to blend in where mm. you are. Because if we stand out, everyone's going to be watching us. Yeah. And while this place and seems if we want relaxing, to learn anything, the least... The, the more strange we seem, the less likely anyone will want to answer that question. So are you guys saying you want to go shopping? Yeah. Okay, yeah. What else are we going to do? Can we wait for... <laughs> is Oji back? Oh, she's going to be a little uh, bit. Yeah. I mean, Oji's not going to go shopping for clothes, because... point. Oji refused. Like, what's the point? God, it's so <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Like, buy a trench coat for Andrea? <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, I was thinking a dog costume, but it's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Spider costume. Spider costume? That is disconcerting. That that would not disguise or help at all. <laughs> Zulamar is gonna just kind of glance over at, at where Yoga is bustling about and goes, "Perhaps this nice cafe owner might be able to tell us the best way to go about doing so. Put us in the direction of the best place to go, so we don't lose time trying to figure out." what all these things are. Yeah. Were you talking directly to Yogurt, or were you just talking to your group while looking at Yogurt? Talking to the group while looking at Yogurt. Okay. Zuma's gonna leave that up to uh, the one person who's had a conversation of any length with Yogurt. So he's just gonna look at Mist. Be like, you're yeah. the one who's spoken at length with her, so perhaps you can ask her a missed off wave at yogurt. Uh, yogurt will finish up with a customer and then come over. Is everything to your liking? Is there anything you need? Everything's great, thank you. Um, but we were wondering is there somewhere that you would suggest for us to go to? buy some clothes so we don't stand out as much. It seems like we're maybe not wearing whatever. Your outfits do make you stick out like a sore thumb. I will admit that. Anywhere on the strip you can find clothing. There's places to buy food, necklaces, outfits. Just depends on what catches your eye, honestly. Okay, well, I guess we'll just look in some windows and see what looks good, and she'll look at the group, kind of shrugging. Uh, Zulema's just going to ask and go, um, Yoga, is, is these little cards the only means of purchasing things? Where, where we're from, we've usually used, you know, coins or trading. Uh, Yogurt's gonna pause and then look at the card that I'm assuming is still on the table. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then look at Mist. And just kind of close her eyes, and you can just visibly see the grandma counting to three in their head. She's like, I'm not gonna smack my grandchild. I'm not gonna do it. And then she opens her eyes and her face is back to normal, and she goes, Where'd you get that? No, oh, you can't uh, take away our money. Found it. Found it. Did you find it? And she's going to reach over to you, Mist, and then sort of grab behind your ear and then pull up the card that was on the table and is now in her hand and go, or did you take it from somebody? Whoa. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna disappoint your grandma and you just met her. Uh, Yogurt's gonna flip the card over and go, Kevin Luden. And then look back at you, Miss. Well, 
now I know what her name is, I will try and find her. We're adventurers. We get stuff to people, probably. Uh, Yogurt's gonna nod and then take the card and then put it in her hand and then put her other hand on top of it, lift her hand up and the card's gonna be gone. And then reach back behind your ear and pull the card out and it's going to be a slightly lighter shade of blue. It's gonna hand it back to you and it's gonna have your name on it. What did you do? I put some money in an account for you. So can you just put it back to where it was? That's fine. I, I don't need any of that. It's... <laughs> this Zuma's going to reach over. <laughs> Zuma's going to try to reach over and take the card from her. Yogurt, Yogurt's going to nod, but she's going to say, I... That account has been in place since your grandmother left. It's been for any of her kids, our kids, that came down here. It's yours, to begin with. It's been sitting untouched for ages. You didn't answer my question. Can I have that old card back? No, <laughs> that, that old card is back where it belongs in the wallet of some man with a weird name like Kevin. Her name's their kid, Kevin. <laughs> oh, she shakes her head. Fucking Kevin. Kevin's your weird name. Kevin's going to snatch that card from Zulamar, if that is possible. I don't know if he needs to be rolled for. You know what? <laughs> Fucking roll off. Just roll off. Straight rolls. Okay. Roll off. I feel like Mist's dexterity or stealth or sleight of hand should qualify. Fine, fine. Both name. of you can roll dex. Okay. Meanwhile, Ahsoka's just like trying to figure out how the card came out of the ear. Or from <laughs> behind the ear. Just she's just perplexed, just staring. Like, what? Did the rest of us oh. hear the grandma thing last time? I don't remember. Yeah. No. no this is cool. our first time hearing that. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Ahsoka's concerned oh, about the ear thing. Ray is like, well, fucking excuse me? The grandmother thing? What? <laughs> Yeah, Zulmar caught that. He's just, uh, he was trying to, to accept the gift. Yeah, like, we need that. <laughs> so, Miss, don't you dare say no. So, Zulamar, what did you roll? Well, she well, took it from him. Oh, Miss, what did you roll? A mod 20? Yeah, yeah, Miss just... Yeah, no, Miss took it, you it right from him. She's just gonna pluck that sucker? right out from between his fingers and shove it in a pocket looking visibly unhappy about the whole situation but also very uncomfortable and she's just gonna kind of like without even really raising her eyes to look at the rest of the table is going to turn back to um yogurt and kind of look through gritted teeth be like thank you Will you tell Oji we will be back in a little bit? All right. I don't I was just gonna go. Um, I had a question first. Was it about the cakes? No, it was about the um, the part where you you're related to Miss. Are you related to me? No, I don't Then it's not so. your business. <laughs> Miss gets a little bit straighter than that, and she looks yogurt like, okay. God, everyone right. down below is such a snarky ass. <laughs> it's, the, it's the default way of being raised. I don't love it. I just sit back in his seat and be like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Shut us up, why don't you? Thank you. Yogurt's just gonna oh. smile and say, if you need anything, I'm here. Just come back we'll whenever. Let you know. Thank you. 
and she's gonna turn to Zulamar and be like, do you have any respect for people's privacy? <laughs> Zulamar's just gonna get a the fumble and be like, I was you weren't gonna say anything about you being related to her? Someone down here below? Yogurt's walked exactly. away, by the way. Is, how is that possible? You were from above. How do you relate to someone below? No one's ever come back from below. Well, maybe if you all tell me your family history, I'll tell you mine. I would gladly. I mean, sure. She is looking thoroughly uncomfortable, like she would usually have found a way to escape by now. <laughs> and just remembers Oji saying, you're the people person. <laughs> and going, fuck. <laughs> Trapped. <laughs> and she's clearly debating for a second before responding. Like, Zuma, I'm just going to go, listen, listen, I'm not, I'm not crying because I want to know all about your family. I'm, I'm asking out of what a surprise. concern for how this, that this complicates the mystery of what we've understood about this place. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming you're confused too. You didn't know this woman until today, correct? Mist is going to look really exasperated and be like, yeah, I literally just found out I don't know, 20 minutes ago, I was going to tell people when I had some sort of concept of what was happening. I needed a minute to process. But now everyone knows. So <laughs> you know as much as I do. Apparently, this is my grandma. I don't know how that is. I don't know how any of this is. Apparently, I'm going to grow wings. That's awesome. What the fuck? So cards on the table. And she's just like fully deflated and like if her ears could be a little bit floppy and perhaps her whiskers like no one's seen this side of Miss before that they've actually seen any sort of sense of her um like real emotions and she's like hate this lost all my walls fuck this noise uh, we had we had what <laughs> we understand uh, okay, that makes more sense that you didn't know her. Um, I, just gonna... I apologize. Uh, would you like more cake before we go? I think I've had enough cake, thank you. <laughs> also fair. And now... God, we have to use my card instead of someone's. Now there's going to be a paper trail. They're going to know where we've been. This is a disaster. She's disappointed. <laughs> you put the card on the table. I didn't point it out. No, but somebody did. I mean, I guess it's better than having someone's card with a paper trail that you stole. They wouldn't have known. I'm a great thief. You just said paper trail. They wouldn't have found out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Maybe? I don't know how any of this works. I don't know how any of it works either. Um... Well... I also have this. She's going to pull out the cash and put that on the table. We can also use this, I guess, since now we don't have any secrets. <laughs> she clearly has more secrets. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, we can work with that first. That's still... That book, your, yogurt didn't give that to you, so that's good. Peachy. Right? Um, Zuma's like, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> so for the sake of before you guys leave, we'll say that the oven is magical and the cookies are done, and Aji, you can come back. So, 
fantastic. Oji comes back with like two trays of cookies, one for the friend, because you know he's, he's not just making cookies for his friend. When you make cookies, you make cookies for everybody. So you know he's making some for the house for really to use the kitchen. And approaching the table and. He, being his jovial self, just sits there with absolutely no smile on his face. Approaches. Hmm. Guacamole was very delightful. It's a very good kitchen. I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? You guys seem to be the time. We can assume oh, she would have some idea of the look on Mist's face that she's thoroughly at uncomfortable or unhappy or whatever something's wrong oh and he relates to that kind of immediately just glare like... at him um and zuma looks rather guilty <laughs> freya too just like and miss will be like well everyone knows that i've got family here and now I've got this. And she's going to put her card on the table and she goes, apparently it's mine. So we've got more questions. Can't and she'll hand her the card. <sighs> I leave you alone one minute and all of a sudden it's full disclosure and awkwardness. Do you think this was what I wanted? <sighs> I will I will just want to preface, uh, clarify that um, Yogurt's the one that started talking about their relation and that Miss needs to accept this card because it's Not hers. helping. <laughs> I'm trying to clarify that Miss did not intend for this to come out. Uh, we also didn't uh, I, really I bully can, her out of her. We were surprised. I, I could tell <laughs> that she didn't intend for it to come out. She has that, oh shit, that didn't intend to come out look on her face <laughs> that I've seen many times before. The the mist not wanting it to come out, that 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 was not the mystery that I'm attempting to solve here. What mystery are you solving then? Uh well right now the mystery of why these cookies are still on the tray. Yeah, we did eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> Put them in a doggy bag. They do have to go boxes if you want to grab one. <laughs> yeah, Mist is going to take one cookie and eat it now because it's warm and that's when you eat cookies. <laughs> well, what, what, once Mist eats one, Oji is relieved. Okay, you're not dying or anything. You're no. That's She's fine. just uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. And then she's going to dump the rest of the cookies in a box. And with a kind of like slightly more irritated look, put the box on Andrea. Be like, don't drop them because she can't carry any more weight. <laughs> and then she'll look back up and be like, well, I guess we should leave. We were discussing possibly acquiring different out, uh, clothing. Mm, why? We stick out like a sore thumb, and Yogurt even said so. And that's a problem? Maybe not here, here, but we don't know what the rest of this world is going to view us as. They may, they might, some place might bar us from entering if we are dressed the way we are. So we wanted to have a backup to dress more in line with this place's fashion in case it's needed in order to sway people. I suppose. Or for them oh, to not just, look at us. Oh, she just, she just like squints a little bit. Are you saying there's something wrong with my hat? 
I don't believe we're the people to be asking. Well, I'm not going to walk up to other people just because strangers say is there something wrong with my hat. Like, he takes it off and he looks at it. Is there a stain on it or something like that? Is it thread loose? What's wrong with it? Mist is going to reach out and pat his arm and be like, maybe there's somewhere that can clean hats. Maybe it can just be freshened up. You have been on the road a while. I can clean the hat. What? It's like trying to reason with an old man. Oh, wait. Well, you know, maybe one day when you're older, you'll appreciate the frugality of not always buying clothes every single time you get an opportunity. You guys buy clothes? What? Well, I don't. <laughs> you know, no, we make our clothes back in late another. Well, same here. But you think, you, you think that in any other craft make this quality that's lasted for... I've had this coat for over <laughs> 50 years. Why, why would I replace it? Absurd. We know it's a great coat. And she's just going to like look at the rest of the group and shake her head like, and she's already totally forgotten <laughs> about the other thing. She does not hold a grudge that long. Or at least she's not concerned about it right now and look, but like shake her head like, don't interrogate the crazy old man. Like the look <laughs> that you give your friends when your grandpa's on a crazy rant. Mm hmm. <sighs> I could use more thread and needle. Probably keep an eye out for that. That tool's not as easy to come by as others. See? There's things you could need to shop for. Just being practical. Yeah. So, are you oh, guys... No, I, got I got it. Oh, you go. I don't know, I got uh, I could do some drag. Huh. Like this is a like this is like a prototype. Just hastily thrown together. This is not. His, his legs are made out of keyboard. Look at that. It's ramshack. Yeah, it's great. There's places here that would have suitable upgrades. Several people are typing. Just send us an outfit, Daddy, with that. Oh, yes, yes. Let's hope it's going to gonna finish her hot chocolate. <laughs> right, oh, yeah, Zulamar won't leave until uh, he's finished his tea and made certain that Vitani has finished her drink. And a full slice of cake. A mini little mini square of cake. But the full piece. <laughs> well, when you guys are done and everything is ready, you gather up your accoutrement and you head out the door after, you know, dislodging a couple of cats that have just sort of fallen asleep on you. Especially Vitani. <laughs> Vitani has like three cats on her. Oh, is it because she's warm? Yes, it is 100% because she's warm. Aww. Yeah, you guys <laughs> do get to pet the kitties. Oh yeah, we petted lots of kitties. Um, Did any of you pet my grandma? Because that would have been weird. Your, gra <laughs> your, your grandma, she's, a, she's an orc. No, right. the the other grandma. You're the grandma's not Wait, there. Why are we? Uh, Zuma just as they as we depart is going to wave a thanks 
and kind of like sketch a bow towards <laughs> uh, yogurt and be like, thank you so much. Yogurt just nods and goes back to the fact that there's a woman trying to argue over what discount means with her. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm tempted to interrupt. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. not to interrupt, right. but just have when that's happening, Andrea just go and just go like defensive, like backup intimidation robot behind Grandma. Oh, oh, Grandma's got it. Oh, you're free to do that, got but it. Grandma's got it. Good. All right. It's gonna be missed in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys leave the treetop cafe. You go down the stairs, and now you are standing in front of all of these shops. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, can you give us the description of a few of the shops? Um, yeah. Wait. I'll do I'll do the catch up uh, uh, because okay. our player Vitani Red just popped in. Hi. Hello. The group has unfortunately found out in the most embarrassing way that yogurt the half orc is Miss Grandma. Uh oh. Yogurt also proceeded to take the credit card that Miss stole via magic tricks and give oh, Miss her own credit card with her name on it. We are disappointed. OG... Miss is dis disappointed. OG got into the kitchen with the demon named Guacamole and made cookies, brought them back. You guys now have a box of cookies. And you are going... You're standing in front of all of the shops now. And there are shops that have clothes racks that look like the discount clothes racks outside of like some like secondhand shops. In the front, there are uh, big glass-walled uh, stores that have smoke billowing out of the front doors that are held open by these fancy rocks and crystals. And you can see the glittering light of crystals on the inside. There's places that have yards of fabric coming down, just flowing through the doors and around the corners. There's places that have the smell of food, and you can hear sizzling and grilling, and there's just... Tons of different shops. So depending on what you guys want to look for, I can direct you. Hmm. I already know exactly what kind of outfit I want Raya to have. I have no idea, so you go first. <laughs> well, no, actually. Yeah, go for it. So go you guys it. want to get outfits first? Hmm. So do an outfits first? Yes. Yes. Cool. yes. So, everybody, not roll initiative, but just roll something for me. And put your number in down below. I have to pull up my sheets. Oops. We've got an 11, a 14. Just a regular d20. Yeah, just a regular d20. A two. Six. That's on point. I got a rock. My dice don't I got it. a rock. <laughs> I got a buckler. So we just need Freppy and the tummy. Well, that's a great number for a first roll. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's that, a really that's great number. not bad number. All right. Fairly decent number. All of you are walking around and you're seeing all of these clothing stores and all this. And Ahsoka, you're sort of in front and you turn your head to the side and you are stopped dead by the most beautiful blouse you've ever seen in your entire life. Sitting in a window, sort of gently blowing, and it's covered in these beautiful flowers and it has billowy sleeves and it's off the shoulder, but it has little straps that look like they're detachable and it's just sitting there and it just you want it 
That looks very pretty. Um, she kind of looks over around. Is it like out in the open or is it like in a window? It's in the window. Can I get this? She points to the group. We can go in and inquire about it. Mist is going to give um sorry, that was Ahsoka. Ahsoka? Okay, sorry. Um, the stack of money and be like, I don't know, try this. Looks like that, except for instead of the sun and moon pattern, it's flowers. Pretty. Um, so Ahsoka's gonna go inside and see if she could get the top. So inside there are different types of mannequins with different outfits, different fabrics that are making up different dresses and clothes and all sorts of these beautiful garments. And in the center of the shop is a round circle, and there's a man with a hat that is tilted slide tilted sideways. Sorry, that was on me. And he has little golden glasses on with gold lenses, and he's looking at a catalog and lazily flipping it, but as soon as you walk through the door, the atmosphere of the shop just sort of seems to brighten, and he looks up and he goes, Well, how can I help you? Um, that flowery shirt in the window. I want that shirt. Of course, much- darling. Well, let's see if it fits first, shall we? And he's going to wave a finger with a very pretty acrylic nail on it, and the shirt is going to slide off the top of the mannequin and go over towards you and stretch in front of you and then shrink a little bit and then stretch some more and then it's as it's floating in front of you it's your size now do you want this in a different color or do you like the way it looks now what are the color options uh he smiles and he points to it and he goes well there's a red and it changes to this beautiful shade of red with like golden flowers and little leaves and vines and then he points he points it again and it's blue similar but more like wavy kinds of blue green and he changes it again and he just keeps going to the colors pretty much any color you can imagine like a like a dark green even we have that and he changes it again Yes, I think the dark green will work. Perfect. Is there anything else? Can I interest you in some um, some leggings to go with it? Some boots? You look like you would m- just murder some beautiful boots. Maybe a scarf? Um, what are... Le- she was going to ask what leggings are, because she's so used to having, like, regular pants, like, adventure pants. She doesn't know what leggings are. <laughs> Gotcha. So he's going to stand up and come around, and is everybody else entered the shop, or is it just you? Yes. Maria went with her. Sure. Okay. Zoomer entered. <laughs> Vitani walked in and began. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to just point to things and just bring them over as he's seeing the rest of you, and just clothes are going to sort of float behind him, sort of like they're shy, but they're like peeking out from behind his shoulders, just sort of They're sort of not- they're not sentient, but you feel like if clothes were sentient, that's what would be going on here. And he's going to show you a pair of very dark green, dark black leggings that have, like, leather padding on the side. Ooh. What do you think of these? They're very good. They do have armor class attached. Ooh. I like those. Uh, I'll get the top and the leggings, then. All right. And for the rest of you, who can I help? Who's next, you guys? (laughs) I already posted what I want for Rhea. (laughs) All right. So, Rhea, you walk up, and you just sort of wave... And this man looks at you and goes, oh, I know immediately what you need, my darling dearest. And he is going to turn around and shuffle the uh, clothes and then 
pluck some jeans, toss them towards you, and they're going to just hover in front of you, shrink, you know, blah, shrink, blah, and then he's going to grab a flannel out and a cute little top that goes with it that's just sort of got, like, not lace, but look like the fake lace that's sort of printed on the top of a t-shirt. And he looks at the flannel, turns around, looks at you, stretches the flannel a bit, and as he stretches it, the pattern changes to something prettier. And he's going to turn it and hand it out to you. And you're going to see that in the flannel, it looks like there are wolves running up the sleeves. Huh. Okay, thank, thank you. Who's next? Kind of just quizzically staring at the um, wolves. So, off to the side, Zulumar is just going to um, have kind of whispered to Vitani, I'm sure you feel terrible right now, and we can talk more later, but I know you would like to enjoy shopping. Um, so, and with that, he's going to use his cantrip to give her a happy memory, to kind of give her, like, Cheer up for the I day. Mean, I'm cheering up for at least the time being so she can have a better experience. You're going to make me cry out of character. Oh my goodness. So uh, I was just going to say, I know this doesn't fix anything, but it could be a stopover for a little while. So who's next? Now I have no idea how long this takes. Oh, it's in instantaneous. Okay. Mm. Vatani's gonna give Zulamar a hug right then. Um, and squeeze him really tight and just mutter a really soft thank you to him. And, and Zulamar's gonna go, you're welcome. Now you're next. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Okay, so with that little uh, serotonin boost, um, she's going to walk over and... Uh... Darling, I think I know exactly what you do. Before okay. you even say anything. And he's going to turn around and he's going to toss <laughs> some black and red leather pants that have cuts in the side over towards you. He's going to a black satin halter top that barely covers anything and it just has like these black stripes inside of it that cover like the important bits and then he's going to lift up a a blood red jean jacket that has a big fur lining and he's going to shake it out and go this has an enchantment on it Vitani is speechless one the outfit is perfect and two she's very curious about that enchantment she goes what what kind of enchantment the man just smiles with oh darling you know that's not how shopping works oh. well can't blame me for trying if you buy it you'll know i'll take it all right, uh, he's going to take everything to the front and tell you a price, and you guys can decide if you want to pay with your cash or with Miss Card. Combo. Combo. This is only a a um. Like, will he? Sh can he shop for for men as well? Oh yeah, did Zulamar want an outfit as well? Oh yeah, Zulamar was waiting. He he wanted all of everyone else to go first. Cool. Uh. Zulamar is wearing robes currently, yeah? Yeah. Uh, robes and just like he's wearing leather armor, so. Oversized yeah. street fashion. Alright, the man is going to pause and do that thing where he taps like the nail on the chin and goes You want to romp her? Oh, what? He's going to wave his finger and overflows this beautiful white elegant romper with a plunging neckline that has jewels going down the side. No. 
More's the pity. What are you into? Uh. Painting? Closing Reading? wise, darling. I don't care about your personality. <laughs> wow. Damn. So I was just gonna go. I'm. I like things to be comfortable. Um, my favorite color is blue. All right. I can. I don't know. Out of character, I feel like he'd be like a soft academia, like. Yeah. No. I argyle was... sweater type. Yeah, so what I'm thinking for this character is, um, not harem pants, but like the soft sort of, um, soft sort of, what are those pants called? I don't know what they are, but they're very soft, and they, um, they don't wrap around the knee, they just sort of hang around your ankles, but you can, like, stuff them into boots and things. So a pair of those, that they're loose, but they're, they're, like, tight around the hips, but then they're loose around the legs. And then a, a dark blue button-up shirt with a vest on top of it. Yeah. Was that in probably like loafers for shoes? Okay, if you're getting shoes, you can get those. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that that works perfectly for him then. Oh, by the way, um, the salesman does offer up a pair of knee-high black boots to anybody that wants them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Idiot. All right. <laughs> there are a couple of accessories if you guys want to look at accessories, and I can list them up if you want. Always. Do we ever not want to look at whatever it is that Especially you... if they're enchanted, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there is... It's a t-shirt that looks like a breastplate. So it's like one of those fake tuxedo t-shirts, but it looks like a breastplate. There is a blue shawl that's also sort of long enough to be considered maybe a cloak. There's a black leather belt with a smooth uh, square buckle. There are the boots. There is a silver cloak with embroidery of silver flowers on top of it. Oh, it's a black and silver cloak with embroidery of silver flowers. There's a white cotton hood with a plain wooden peg for the button around the throat. And then a, uh, just another plain black cloak, but the edges are tattered and hemmed. Uh, I'm not interested in the blue cloak. Okay. I'm kind of interested in the black one, but I need to know how much all of this is already costing Mist. <laughs> yeah. If Miss could be sweating, she would be. I don't know if Tabaxes or whatever she is sweats. She's panting slightly. <laughs> character, just so people understand her vibe. Like she's very much grew up as like basically an orphan with no money and has like zero concept of having or saving and is usually like like the concept of money is very foreign to her in many ways. And she's not really sure what's happening or what she's doing. And she's just handed the wad of cash to whoever went in first and is standing in the corner like, I don't know. <laughs> she has a really overload day. Does, oh. have... Does that come in cheap? <laughs> come so in I... inexpensive. Yeah. Does, it, does that come in cheap? Does that come in less than a copper piece uh, are you asking that or no 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 oh. I'm, I'm i'm commenting oji is not buying new clothes it, it won't last long enough why would he why would he buy clothes from a human it, it, they're not built to last yeah i never said this man was a human <laughs> not built to last So I was just gonna go, um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how much is all of this gonna cost so far? One second, um, uh, my crones is acting up really quick. I'm gonna let you guys figure out what you want from the list. Um, Drake, since you're not buying anything, I'm gonna send you the item of what everything is, and you can try and sell it without telling people what everything is. 
you say like we can tell you what we want on the list, but like despite it being a fantasy game, us in good conscience can't you <laughs> I will can't be use back. all of Mrs. M- Mrs. Money. Go, go, yeah, I'll go, be back. Go. Drake, you yeah, yeah. have fun. Oh boy. I wasn't saying stop. I was just yeah. Okay. Where where's the list of the stuff on that list? Where's where's our what's happening? Okay. I wanna see if that works. Oh yeah. Can you read off the description? <laughs> like Joe, the oh, thanks. Joe, oh, thanks. Well, Rhea is interested in the black cloak. What a, oh, is it worth no, getting? No. no, that's a horse of a different color. I just I want the, the blue the cloak top and the bottom. The one that's I this seems like so much math. In the boot. <laughs> I hate it. Look, no, I don't think Tony's... Soda's going to try to rob us, but he might make us go to another spot. <laughs> Like I think he wants this just as much as we do. So, (laughs) Vitani wants that. It's so bad. I feel like Vitani is spending the most out of any of them because she got a top, a jacket, and pants, and now she's eyeballing the boots and the belt. I was gonna say, so did Rhea, and then Zulamar has a vest, a button-up pants loafers and he wants the clothes. oh shit oh valid valid we're all just big spenders i love it i mean well, it's, it's just the top and bottom like, she just have like, top there are <laughs> other D campaigns where they get the opportunity to like commission beautiful dresses for a ball this is our ball <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> like it, they, they ain't, they ain't bad ball. already they wear it once <laughs> we get to do this too. Let us put yes, funky exactly. modern clothes on our characters so I can draw them later. Oh, absolutely! You, you, I'm not, I'm not poo pooing that idea at all. Oji um, would never do that. Fair. So I wish Possibly we knew fair. what, how, what the type of bills that. Uh, uh, okay, well he's gone. Um, Zuma is going to ask uh, Ahsoka to hand him the bills so that he can identify what they are um uh, but so with them i'll i'll have ask sona when he I'm comes gonna back, to the back okay well. ahsoka gives the the bills to zulamar and it's like i don't know what these are for i was just gifted these i just want my top and bottom because cat <laughs> she's okay, vitani will find her some good catnip She's a fickle. She still has some 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 nip. Doesn't she still have some of that mint? I think she showed some of her pocket. I'm not sure if she used it all in the fever dream. Oh man. <laughs> in that case, Batani will find her even more. <laughs> she will keep her stocked. <laughs> I just had the worst thought. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> and it's extra funny because Mist absolutely would never go for it, but my brain went. The Vitani could always <laughs> offer to pay her a different way. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if Mist and Vitani place the same value on things. <laughs> same value system. So, Oji paid with cookies. We want to pay with nookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm so <laughs> Meow. <laughs> also, I need I need the Johnny. I need um. I'm gonna need a uh, I don't under I still don't understand the pants description for Zulumar. They're pants. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of pants. Corduroys, I don't know. They're flowy pants, but they're not I think I think he was trying to say like they're not considered harem pants because they're not like cinched at yeah, the ankle. Yeah, the end. But so they're just what, they big like and flowy. Bottoms? Kind of, yeah. Big flowy, soft bell bottoms. I feel Let's like 
I mean, I, I lived through the 90s, so I know what you're talking about. I've had that kind of pants that they're talking about. God. Mm -hmm. Visual, because my brain is not able to visualize it very well, because I, I don't. Uh, my brain was like, huh, dark navy, like plaid trousers is what my brain was like. That's what I could see Zulma wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to envision Vitani's I right mean, now, too. When Sona comes back, you can ask if he can, like, spot oh, them for yeah. something like that. It'll probably be just this expensive. It just <laughs> took me a second to, to figure out, like, oh, this is what I would, that I think he would wear. Look, I was already looking the second we said. <laughs> I, I was, I was distracted. You're fine. I, I wanted to hear everyone else's outfit so badly, but I was just like, it's fine. So I, I, I know. know. Ooh, While I we were know. eating cakes and cookies, I was like googling <laughs> outfit. Oh, see, you you were so smart. You were smart. I was like, I don't know if this is actually going to go this direction or not, but let's see what would Rhea wear. I went through like several different alterations. Like part of me was about to just get her some leggings and a, and a uh, you know, sports bra top. Ooh. <laughs> you know, your typical mu uh, muscle. <laughs> Which yes. one of the Spice Girls is she going to be? <laughs> but then I was like, hmm, lumberjack. Because that was essentially her job or part of it, I guess. Mm. I feel like Zulamar has to just not understand th that he could be attractive because he's just like, what? <laughs> and this is going to sound so terrible, but he literally is just like, no, I'm I'm not the attractive friend. <gasps> that's that's <laughs> Matani. Uh, hey. Matani is the attractive one. Oh my god. <laughs> Rayo would never consider herself attractive either. It's fine. Matani is side-eyeing side, side -eyeing all of you. <laughs> all of you. Like, are you fucking serious? Vitani's like, He's I want to fuck every one of you. <laughs> I'm pretty certain, like, Vitani's, like, always tried to hype him up and be like, no, dude, you can have any person you want. And so I was like, ah, uh, nah. Oh, if Vitani's go-to to counteract statements like that would probably be something like, um... Like, believe me, like, I've slept around, or I've seen enough people, or I've been around enough, like, people. Like, you are attractive. Believe me. But then he has that response of, you're me. my friend. You're but supposed you're my to friend. say that. Yep, yep. <laughs> me anytime. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see, where's that one gif? This is her every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see Sona. Is Sona back? Or is he just on oh. his phone? Oh, he's, he's taking a while. He's got his phone on him. Okay, okay. that's fine. Also, yes, I had to be horizontal, so I'm on my bed. Valid. Mm -hmm. I apparently seem to have found the pants. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, we can Google some, like, light plaid. If that's the route he wants to go. Oh, I, I have a photo of the pants that I was like, these. These pants. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. My computer's not loading more. I'd have to get up and scroll. So Zulu's gonna show off his ass like that and then be like... Yeah, you're the attractive friend. He doesn't understand that. <laughs> He's also not had any clothing that is shaped around his body in this way. So uh, that's why I was like, oh, I think I think I want something a little more fitted. <laughs> oh yeah, for for him to be a little baffled by the fact that he like people would be like, ah, oh, nice ass, and he'll be like, what? <laughs> nice ass. You, I love that you play like. Zulamar completely opposite how you play Atlas. <laughs> right? Zulamar is like, what what are clothes? Clothes? Meanwhile, the uh the shop clerk uh, in um 
graduate says like you're the most beautiful thing here i know <laughs> i know <laughs> yep that was where they're like oh get rid of that horrible hair color it's <laughs> my fake what? <laughs> I think everyone's pretty except me. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, guys. What? Yes. Now, now ads on websites are advertising the three wolf shirt at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what you get. I'm in so <laughs> much pain. I had horse shirts and wolf shirts in fifth grade. Who let me wear those? <laughs> I no, always no, looked me like in the most ridiculous <laughs> outfits until I was old enough to like at least ask for dress on bullshit. I had in fifth grade. We went Hello. shopping in the flea market. <sighs> Do you guys have I Northern had... Getaway in the states? I, I had a what? A tiger. Northern yeah. Getaway. It was like our version of like the place that had like the no. Wolf. I had a it? tiger shirt that had t multiple tigers on it. And in the negative space between all the tigers was the face of a tiger. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, I returned to something beautiful. Okay. Fashion. 90s fashion. Fashion. Um, so now, uh, can we, can Zulamar have the, uh, the nice plaid dress pants that hug his ass? Sure. Okay. Show off that ass. He's, he's not going to realize that it makes his ass look good. Um, I just, I feel like that would be totally his speed. So, um, are you guys getting anything from the accessory plate? Vitani wishes for boots and belt. Boots and belt. All right. So. I want to know what we're spending first, and then I'll consider the black ripped up coat. Also, uh... Shaw thing, cloak. Navy button up shirt and a vest is what you said Zulamar was getting? Yes. Like uh, a black will... vest? Uh it's whatever color you want it to be. Okay. But... Perfect. Yeah. Um mm. what you're currently spending would be three of the bills you currently have. Oh, that's right. Um so we have Jesus Christ. Zoomer now has the money. Um, we have two blue, one green, two red. What are those denominations when Zoomer is looking at them? 10, 20, 30. In that order? Yes. Down the list? Okay. 10, 20, 30. 10. Two tens, one twenty, and two thirties. Two tens, one. So, how much of those bills, if he were to say a number? Two of the 30s. Two of the 30s, okay. Um, before the accessories or with the accessories? With the current accessories. Okay, and he wants the blue cloak. Okay. How much would it be if I added the black cloak onto there? You would add on one of your tens. Is that okay, Mist? <laughs> She's just a kind of like nod and is Oji in with there with them? Uh oh god no, he's outside oh, like a dad. Well, this isn't this isn't part of like a dad. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna take all of this and um the clerk is telling him that how much these yeah. denominations will get them. Okay, so he's gonna hand what he's been told. To them in the cash. All right, so let's start off with Rappy. Yes. Everything that you bought, if you decide to change into it, it is one higher than your current armor class. The shirt Ooh. that you are wearing has an undershirt that, while it looks soft and flowy, it is made out of a uh, fey wing. So while it is silky and very gentle, you have it. People are gonna have trouble hitting you in it. Sweet. The pants are just like basic leather breeches. They're they're pretty cool. Uh. All right. So instead of leather armor, it would be uh a different type of armor. 
Uh, it's a custom armor, but basically leather armor plus one, I guess, if you want to call it that. Okay. Alright, Atlas, what did you get? Did you get something off of the armor? Or the, uh, accessory? Uh... So yeah, uh, the loafers and all that fun stuff, and then you got the black, uh, the the blue, the blue cloak. All right, you got the blue cloak. All right. So are you guys changing into these, or are you just buying them for now? I'm going to change. Zulmar's changing. I'm going to change. Yeah. I'm gonna... Cool. So Zulmar, as you put on your new clothing, you pick up your brand new blue cloak, and you toss it over your shoulders, and you're looking at yourself in the mirror. And from your neck to your knees, you are invisible. <laughs> but your head is still there. A blue cloak that so almost you... makes you invisible. But it's not big enough to cover all of you. No matter what, anything below your knees is still visible. Oh boy. The hood, if you put it over your head, will cover your head and that will go invisible. If you turn a certain way. And, but then leggies. Yeah. <laughs> well, alright. Rhea, you're next. You got your wonderful outfit. What did you buy off of the accessory platter? The black cloak that's tattered. Okay. Uh, you know what? That's really cool, honestly. So, you opt for tying the flannel around your waist. I was and actually you, gonna say that she would. Yeah, you you tie the flannel around <laughs> your waist, you sort of muss up the tank top that you've been given, and then you put the cloak on. A black cloak with purposefully tattered and hemmed edges. When attuned, the cloak grants 1d8 temporary HP any time the wearer scores a criti critical hit with a weapon. Temporary HP lasts for half an hour. Nice. Uh, Mist, you didn't buy anything. Drake, you didn't buy anything. Vitani. That is correct. Yes. Yeah, I oh, didn't really. Know that's my question. Um. Yeah. Did a t does Zuma's attire negate his leather armor? Like, no. if he removes that, it's it's okay. All right, so he still has white armor on. Yeah, it's it's like it's like basic armor. It's just okay, cool. fancier. Um, so Vitani, you put your clothes on, and then yes. the first thing you do is you get the, you get the, the boots on first, and they uh -huh. are knee-high black boots that are always clean and shiny. They <gasps> never take in any water, even if submerged, and they will always keep your feet dry. Excellent! Those are your enchanted boots. And your jean jacket with the fur. You literally bought... <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. boots and fur. Mm -hmm. It gives you resistance to being attacked by zombies. Oh shit, I'll take it. Damn. So any bite attack from anything, actually, any bite attack, you they will have disadvantage on against you. <laughs> yes. And right did you also get the belt? Yes. Okay. A thick black leather belt with a smooth, square, and honestly boring buckle. It creates illusionary pants on the wearer that you can, that can look like any version or any variety of pants. The wearer can suppress the illusion at will. Interesting. Can I also give the illusion of no pants? Yes. <laughs> But because you're wearing pants underneath it, then... They would just show. Yeah, they'd show your pants. Okay, cool. So, the blue one is given to Zulamar. For Vitani. This is also for Vitani. This is for my note keeping. And then this. He removed the blue right cloak. Now. <laughs> yeah, he took the blue cloak off. <laughs> yeah, for now. Yeah, sorry about that. 
I had uh, TikTok open in the background on accident. So there you go. That's what you guys get from clothes shopping. Awesome. So you guys now fit in while OG and Mist do not. Oh boy. Maybe so. Mist will fit under the blue cloak. <laughs> so where do you guys want to go? You could go to a nifty little potion shop. There is a small jeweler. Uh, there is a hat, a hat, a haterdashery. Haterdashery. Yeah. There's a little toy shop and a trinket shop. A weaponry and a surplus supply store. Where would you guys like to go? Hmm. Spent all our money on clothes. <laughs> I will say I will we give you money left. You have two shops that you can go to out of all of the ones that I listed. That way, you're not buying everything out of stock. Hmm. So we can go to two shops. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What about the surplus store? Seems like it could be cheaper. Mm -hmm. The two thirties and one ten, right? Yeah, those are the ones that you spent. <laughs> yes, you're what grumbly. Get over it. What was that sound? <laughs> it's great being a grumbly bumbly. Was that your mouth? That sounded like bubbles. What's happening? Do <laughs> you a doctor? I feel like this, this, this is me. in canon. I thought he fell asleep. Is it, wait, I is it Oshi being smart. grumpy or is he, did he have a narcolepsy? You could think. It could oh. be. Drake, are you awake? Oh, he might, have had, a, he might have had a narcoleptic attack. That does make more sense. Drake or Oji? Wait. Drake. Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yes. Uh oh. Drake is Sometimes Mark Lefty. Asleep and it's, <gasps> don't take it personal. Yeah. He's usually not at oh, Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. out. Oh. I don't know how to wake him up. <laughs> no. Hey, Drake. Drakeum! <laughs> should should I kick him from the call or? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's appropriate. <laughs> um, well, if we yeah. want to con st still continue shopping as you long as we're not doing anything um, big time, like you know. Can you uh, move into the guest room? We can like. Well, we can message him and say, "Hey." When you wake up, <laughs> if you wake up, just join the call back or just stop here. What do you guys want to do? Well, we know Oji isn't shopping, so. Well, he wasn't going to shop for clothes. That's why I was like, we could either continue shopping and just send him a message or if we want to. He had mentioned that Andre is a little. Do you guys want to get stuff for quick... him or? The snoring is gonna make me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we, um, like, either move him to the, like, can you move him to the guest room or take him off the call just so it's not, like... Let me see if I can... I don't know if I have that kind of ability. I think I do, so let me... I think if anyone does, it would be Sana. Oh my god. Aww. There you there. go. I moved him to the <laughs> As we, we just are him recording and, and it does seem nice. Yeah. Oh if you wake back up, just come back in. Yeah, we just we love him and he's gonna be able to listen to the recording anyway. And Drake, if you're listening to the recording, we love you. And I yes, guess if you do. hear anything that you wanna buy post thing, just message Sona. We'll probably let you still buy it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Alright, so where would you guys like to go? Um, list the list the shops again where we can go. So Please. there's a little potion store. There is a jeweler. There is a hat a dashery, which is just a hat shop. 
there's a toys and trinket shop, and there's a weaponry. There's also places where you can get food and things like that, and then the surplus store. I'd like to go to the weaponry. Okay. I will also go to the weaponry. Yeah, that sounds more exciting. Okay. I'm looking for something. Cool, cool, cool. Of course you are. You know what? You want to go? <laughs> Boomer's oh. gonna go wherever Tony goes, but he he has he's maxed out on items. <laughs> as far as weapons go. All right. Nice. So when you go into the weapon store, the windows themselves are blacked out. So when you walk in, it's kind of dark, but you see just sort of walls of swords and rapiers and knives and like shields on the wall as well and like some basic weapons and things and then at the back there is an l-shaped counter and in the glass there are four items that are lit by little glowing bulbs from above that are just sort of bouncing in the counter Whoa. and there is a little bell on the top of the counter that says ring for service Batani gonna go ding it, it takes a minute or a couple of seconds but eventually a woman with hair just long blonde hair down to the floor peeks out from around the corner of the back room and she walks in and she goes uh, hello hi um we're here to look at weapons? Oh, what can I interest you in? We have a beautiful array of special maids in the front, and there's also anything on the walls or anything your heart desires. And as she says that, she sort of sighs, and you see little wisps of red smoke sort of come up from her hair toward the ceiling. Out of character, is she on something? What is going on? Uh, roll an insight check. All right. <laughs> is it free to anyone? Anyone. Do you say yes? Insight. Sorry. Yes, anyone can roll an insight check. Okay. That is a 20. That is a nat. Not twenty. Oh, not gonna be that. Yeah, no. <laughs> you have nothing helpful to add. It's all you, boo. All right. So you look at this woman, and your first thought is, "What is she on?" And then you stop, and you see the way that she's standing. And the way that her body moves, she's not on something. She is something. That sounds like something who's someone who's on something would say. You've oh. met people already that didn't. You didn't know what they were, what race they were. You've met them before. You've seen them walking around. You think this might be one of those people? By the way, I okay. want you all to know that she is also wearing a long, white, uh, sort of like a toga. Okay. If you want to take a stab in the dark to try and figure out what she is, I will let you roll an arcana check. She gets to wear a toga, but our outfits were weird. <laughs> I think that better than mine. Well, a toga can be passed off as a dress. I mean, I guess. Let's see. I will try my. You know what? Why? Why did I try? What you roll? God. Someone's gotta have good arcana here. It's not me. It's someone. <laughs> You know what? She's pretty. She's really She's pretty. Wow. Wow. Hold on. The Tawny roll of wisdom saving throw. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. 
What do you mean? Oh, wait. Uh -oh. At disadvantage. Oh! oh no. Oh, rip. Oh, <laughs> listen, am I about to be bamboozled by this chick? I'm, you know what? I'm kind of into it. If you don't stop getting charmed, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> listen, you know what? Tell them to stop being so goddamn charming then. <laughs> <laughs> because it's working. All right, Vitani, I'm going to send you something in private. Oh. I missed this fucking game. Yeah, I was gonna say I have... Sorry, I was listening, but uh, Arcana check was a 16. Nice! And then... Alright, uh, Zulamar, I will send you something as well. Do I have to do a wisdom saving throw first? Uh, no, because you rolled high. Oh, okay. Deep breaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ahsoka, you want to figure out what she is, too? Yes, I do. All right, let me... <laughs> I'm well, very curious. Deep breaths being red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That checks. You know what? <laughs> I so jazzed right now. In front, on the counter, there are three different arrows. And they sort of shift in and out of, like, your field of vision. Just because of the nature of how shopping works in this universe. And there's also what looks like a crowbar. Interesting. Is there anything any of you would like? Any question? Any specific thing you're looking for? Well, I was in the market for a new whip. Oh, I like whip. We have really? a wonderful selection just on that wall. And she points right behind your shoulder, but she, as she does so, she puts her hand over your shoulder to point. <laughs> this is out of character reaction. Zumar <laughs> is watching this closely. And Drake's like, not here to do the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even remember oh, what it was. It. <laughs> so while red is freaking out and uh blushing up to her ears vitani is uh very much enjoying the way this strange new woman is just all up in her space and clearly flirty and you know she needed to pick me up. So she's 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 rolling with this. Um she's going to turn her attention to the uh selection that is <laughs> that is t I just looked at the fucking thumbnail on that video that is being displayed to her and she's going to go over there and uh peruse a little bit. All right. So they have basic whips, fancy whips. They have, like, these should not be that extensive whips. Uh, and you get the feeling whatever you pick, you will make this woman so happy. I, I. What about the rest of you guys? Okay with our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking that in character or out of character? Out of character. <laughs> I don't know, you'd have to ask. I feel like this shop's going to be way too expensive. Or three bucks left. <laughs> yeah. I thought we, we have only three dollars left? Thirty. No, you, you got thirty. Oh, three bills. 
No, two. Sorry. Oh, two. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said that it was going to cost two of the tens. Or two of the... Yeah, you no, have, two you have 120 30, and 110 left. 110. So I thought we still had two blues and one green. Also, hello, Drake. Hi, Drake. Hi, Drake. Yeah, sorry about that. I just passed out. Yeah. You're all good. I know where I went. No, calm so the hell out. I thought we had um, forty left. Uh, no, you guys have thirty. Because you paid the extra one for um. The extra ten was for the two cloaks. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's uh, right. Yeah. Well, we can see what it's worth, and then. Okay. Yeah. Also depends on what you guys Raya would have the the gall to ask if they could pay with their bodies. <laughs> wow. I was gonna By the ask way, Drake, if I could trade in. Oh, one second. Uh, Drake, do you want yep. to figure out the woman here, she has a long blonde hair to the floor and a white toga on, and she's billowing uh, red smoke occasionally, and she's sighing as she talks. Do you want to try and figure out what she is? What she is? Mm -hmm. Um... Vitani rolled really bad, and now she might be, I don't know, magic. I'm less interested in what she is, okay. and more interested... This is a weapon shop. The weapon shop? Yeah. Weapon shop. I did fall asleep, holy shit. Um, yeah. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> we all wandered into the weapon shop after the clothes. We bought the clothes already. We went, where would Oji want to go most, since he's not here? And we, took that <laughs> we did shout out to you in the video saying if you heard anything you want to buy but we haven't even <laughs> got that far yeah. it's fine oh shit i'm so sorry for passing out there Holy okay. you're fine. Fine. no you're fine we thought you were just making snarky noises at us so we didn't yeah, <laughs> yeah we did we genuinely thought you were like, making oh. snarky noises no it's just i was listening and to it was like uh, oh jake is being like is grumbling no, totally like, checked out what would happen is I was just sitting there and I was listening to everything and I was like, okay, and they're doing that. And the next thing I know, everything's silent. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Snark so give you some dignity. And then I look and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the bad box. <laughs> <laughs> we we just didn't want to, uh... yeah. No, I get it. Cool. Your snore got a little intense. <laughs> That I can believe. <laughs> so we didn't and want. We wanted you to have some. You're sleeping. Um, so we were like, let's just move him into this other chat until he wakes up. He'll come back. If we happen to be at a oh okay, let me just see here because because if we're at a store that offers weapons and or armor now, maybe I might be interested in that. Uh, it's just it's um, just weapons in here. Okay. Well, maybe I might be slightly less interested, but still interested in that. Oh, and you might have been asleep, but some of the clothes had, like, armors and enchantments. Stuff. That I was aware of. Uh, okay. There okay. is one that isn't on that, and it's Vitani's jacket. Um, Vitani has resistance to any bite attack, specifically against undead, but it works with anything that tries to bite her. Because she's wearing oh, a jean shit. jacket. She's immune to a good time, gotcha. <laughs> Listen, listen. When the time's getting good, the jacket comes off. Was it undead or only zombies? Uh, pretty much anything that tries to bite her, really. Okay. Okay. Um, weapons, 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 weapons. Um, the current enchanted ones in the front row are three separate arrows that are morphing, or they're sort of like fizzling in and out of existence because of the nature of how shopping here works, and a crowbar. Those are the things that are, like, on display that are, like, super enchanted, and then everything else Wait. is just out on the walls. There's a, there's an enchanted crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> it won't help me blend in, but that... How much for the crowbar? Are you asking the lady behind the counter? Yes. She yeah, looks at you literally, and... she's just like wakes up and says, "Like, well, how much for the crowbar?" She looks at you and smiles and puts an elbow on top of the counter and then puts her chin in her hands and goes, "How much would you offer?" Oh, man. social gaggling. Uh, I regret asking. It's already cost too much. 
Well, I do <laughs> make all of the enchantments. In house, you know. Everything you uh, have a gonna... personal Wait a minute. touch. Um. Actually, I have questions about that. How how do you do that exactly? Um. The process of enchantment. I mean. What? Well, talk to my magic, and I ask it for favors, and occasionally it says yes. Interesting. Interesting. I have found that my enchantment works slightly differently, but not too different from that. I'm well, only discovering my different. Yes, I I'm only discovering my own talent, and um, talent's a different thing oh. than magic, darling. Uh, and, and at that point, like, uh, Andrea just walks up behind and I just look and I say, oh, I, 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 I know, I know <laughs> the difference. Uh, when Andrea fully comes into view into the shop, uh, you see this woman, like, her hair starts to float and that smoke gets more and more and horns start to push out of her skull and wrap around to the back of her ears, and she just goes, Oh my goodness, you're just so cute! I could eat you up! Mm. What, what is your name? My name? <laughs> Give me one second, I have yes. it written down. My name is Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee? Oh! <laughs> Creme brulee. That is an enchanting name, if you don't mind the pun. Um, mine is uh, Orvestra Ogervi. Fils d'Ovec d'Ossé et Misoris Ogervi. The pleasure. <laughs> um... Oh, fuck, that's so, right. Uh, Miss, there was another thing uh, that I was going to give you in, or offer you in the fucking armor shop, and I forgot because I know that some of you are over encompassed. It'll be in the sur uh, sur surplus shop. You guys said you wanted to go to that next. Continue on. Oh, okay. shit, I slept there, the armor shop. Um, no. The armor shop was a clothing shop. Yeah, the armory uh, slash clothing. That's, that's, that's where they're going. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say how how much for the crow how much for the crowbar? Like I said, what do you have to offer? And as she's sort of calming down from having seen Andrea, the horns sort of slowly slide back into her hair. I uh, uh Zulamar's gonna just walk up and put the cash in Oji's hand and say, We we can start with this. Uh, and then step away. I apologize, I am, um, not used to haggling, um, it's, it's not, it, it's not, uh, um, um, uh, 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 You're uh, cute. Uh, roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's more like it. Ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah. That's a failure, <laughs> I'm sure. Drake. Yeah. You're not really attracted to people, and you're not attracted to this woman, no. and no. that's fine. But she's <clears throat> so charming. She's oh. so sweet. She's just so nice. She just. She makes you want to buy things. You know, she's just got that touch. She's not, like, trying to haggle you or trying to pressure you. You just... It's like charity. You just want to give to charity, and you just feel so chill. Look, I have colored pieces of paper, and apparently they're worth something here. What what will this get me? Oof. I 
put one down. I don't even know what one does what. No you, one's told me. I'm just. You oh. put the 20 down. And she picks sure. it up and goes, that's perfect. And she stuffs it into the fold of her toga. And as she does, it reveals like very ample cleavage. And she reaches below and she slides apart a little wooden door and picks up the crowbar and then hands it to Aji. Aji, let me give you your crowbar. Okay. Let's go. I wanted to trade with her. If okay. she's willing to trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one second, though. Arjun, do you want me to read the crowbar out loud, or do you want to read the crowbar out loud? Or do you just want to keep it a secret? Huh, I'm a second here. Fuck secrets. Tell us everything. Oh, <laughs> nice! Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely 100% perfect. Um, OG just, like, he actually takes a couple swings with it. Just like, he looks at her with appreciation for craft. He's been grumpy all day, all week. Um, but this is... He doesn't have to do anything with this. This is... This is perfect. Did you make this? Your, did you make this? Did you, I did! did. Oh. Vitani, now you can turn around and see what's going on. After picking out a whip that you would like. Okay. So, a Vitani picks out a whip and starts to head over. Starts to head back over to the counter, and she sees Alji interacting. Zulamar is watching everything, and she's interacting with the uh, with the lovely weapons merchant. I'm sorry for laughing. I'm sorry for laughing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> All right. Oh, you gotta tell him what it does now. You gotta tell him what it does. You can't just say yeah, that and not explain. Now. It's a crowbar. And it does either... one d It can either do piercing or bludgeoning damage when you whack someone with it, which is awesome. However, if you're attuned to it and you roll below a 5 on your d20 when hitting, so basically you're Oji, you get points that store up. And then if you ever roll a critical, you spend those points and Ooh. boom! You do a ton of damage. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And, and I how thought you... maybe like oh no, a, how a crow tell was going to bring you a drink. You know, tell oh, him how you how so. you spend oh, yeah. the also, points. Also, the way that it does the tons of damage, I forgot to mention that it shoots an illusionary crow at the thing that you hit that only they can see. That's in the shape of a crow. It goes like a blam. Amazing. Is that in the notes that it says "caca motherfuckers"? No, it says. A yeah. crowbar. It's just a crowbar that deals 1d6 piercing or bludgeoning damage depending on how you use it. However, if you attune to it and roll below a 5 on your d20 when hitting, add 2 to the feather plot. If you roll a nat 20, the shadow of a crow flies out of the crowbar and screeches a piercing cry that only the person you're attacking can hear. Along with your critical hit, roll an additional 1d6 and add the feather plot to your damage. Magical requires attunement to unlock special powers. And that is absolutely 100% in my wheelhouse, because I don't need to have strength to use it, because I'm an artificer, let's heck and go. <laughs> All right. I mean, it, it, it's a good thing. Um, the oh. other thing that I wanted to buy, actually, uh, a shield. All right, if we will come back to you for the shields. So, because we're gonna do Vitani, yeah. and then we're gonna do Frappy, and then we'll come back to you. Absolutely, I'm just mentioning that right now. But gotcha. that way, if I fall asleep, someone can wake me up. Of course, because I'm, I'm a slumber whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 
during that whole interaction, Vitani is perusing the selection of whips, and she finally chooses one. Uh, oh, no. You know what? We're getting there. So, she chooses one. <laughs> <laughs> and she saunters back over to the front counter, where the uh, weapons merchant is. What is her name, by the way? Creme brulee. Say the name? Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Oh, oh, that's my favorite! <laughs> um so she uh makes her way back over to creme brulee um and she sets the whip on the counter between them and just slowly like slides it toward her and she'll ask how much for this how much are you willing to pay for it oh, vitani's gonna Look her up and down. No. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so hard for me to do this because like, I would choke and die. <laughs> I support you entirely. Thank you. See, so... she is something special, isn't she? <laughs> <sighs> I work. She's got a nice set of skills. Very capable. Vitani's gonna lean <laughs> forward onto her elbows on the counter and prop her, prop her chin up on her hand and just go, oh yeah, skilled all right. As uh, far as payment, I think we can work something out, don't you? Uh, Creme Brulee is going to smirk and lean close to you to where she's a couple of inches from your face and goes, I think I know a payment that would suffice perfectly if you're amendable. All you have to do is say yes. I'm game. Yes. Okay, and as soon as you say that, she reaches out a hand and yanks the back of you. She, like, grabs the back of your head and fists your hair, pulls you in, and kisses you. And to you, it is a beautiful, hot, holy shit kind of a kiss. To everyone else, a succubus is sucking a point of exhaustion out of the Tani. Oh my god. <laughs> when she is done with you, she pulls away gently, and her skin glows a little bit silver and gold and coppers and just very pretty shimmery colors. She wipes her mouth and she just smiles and Vitani, you now have a point of exhaustion. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Zulamar is just standing there with his arms crossed and the most I knew this was going to happen look on his face. <laughs> as soon as he knew what she was and realized that Vitani had probably cottoned on. He was like, this is going to happen. <laughs> Look, so, they, kind of, they could have gone to the back room. It's <laughs> Vitani kind of does. waiting for it to go that way. She does run a business. <laughs> Can I meet up with her after hours then? I was literally Jesus thinking, we're not staying in town long enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good whip. It's a very good whip. I will let you know that. It's very sturdy. It's... Ooh. And it's very finely braided, and it is it's good quality. Uh, Frappy, you wanted to trade arrows. How did you want to trade arrows? Um, actually, I wanted to trade out one of my things for a different thing. Here, what did you want to trade out? Um, so I have this dagger, this one dagger in my arsenal that mm -hmm. I'm not using. Okay. And I want to trade it out for something else. Did you want to try and haggle for one of the arrows in the container, or just another weapon in general? Probably some more arrows. Okay, so one of the three? Yes. Or, okay. So there is a black arrow, a brown arrow, or a green arrow. Haggle to the best of your ability. So, um... Hold up. 
You said a black arrow, brown, and a green? Yes. So, where exactly is it in the shop? The arrows in question, the three enchanted arrows, are in front. So there's the there's the L-shaped desk between you and creme brulee. And in that desk, in the front, in a glass container, there are these colored arrows that are floating gently with orbs above them that are coloring them. So, um, her eyes kind of fixate on the black arrow. And she, after Vitani's little session over there, (laughs) she looks over and she's like, how much for the black arrow? Depends on what you're willing to offer. I mean... I'm more of offers than cash. I will take cash. I have this dagger that I'm not using. Can I trade it in for the arrow? May I see it? She holds out a hand. She pulls out her dagger and just gives it to her. Is it one of the magic daggers or just a regular dagger? It's just a regular dagger. Okay, she uh, will turn it and look at it, and her eyes sort of narrow. She'll place it on the top of the counter and then just kind of look at you, and her face has sort of changed. Where did you get this? I've had it on me for a while. So you picked it up from the people above. You went. You went corpse moving for this. <laughs> I've had it on me for a couple years. Um, I want you to roll a deception check. A deception? Yes. God. Oh no! Don't you do oh, no. it! Don't you do it! <laughs> 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 if you what blow did you this, do? I swear to God. Oh no! What did you roll? I rolled it too. The time don't I'm giving. Don't ev- forget, I'm, she's ever been told stories. I'm giving of. my. I'm giving her my inspiration. Oh wait, I have inspiration. Can I yeah. use my inspiration? You can use your inspiration. Okay. I'm gonna scream. It did oh, nothing. Gosh. It made it worse. Oh, no, no. it did <laughs> No! No, please! It made it no. worse. You can, can, what? can I help? You can re-roll. You can have more inspiration from other players if they want to give it to you. <laughs> I don't have any. I'm giving yeah. my inspiration. Okay. <laughs> you have another shot at this, Frappy. Are we just. Okay. Old? okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 17. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm over here like, it made it worse. <laughs> So in, in an alternate universe, you see this going very, very badly. <laughs> but that's not this universe. Oh my god. Because the gods have inspired you to do better. To get good. <laughs> do better. <laughs> Just do better. So you say this, and at first you think, she doesn't believe me. I'm gonna die. This is how I go. But then Creme Brulee nods and goes, Understandable, they have been around forever. They're like stones dropping in the water. I'll take it. as a partial payment. Partial? Mm-hmm. What else will you give me? Uh... How much money we have left, guys? I was just typing. We still have ten, and we can okay. figure. Oh, she's got it in his hand. Does he? Yes, Zulimar push up both bills into his hand. 
Aj Aji. Mm -hmm. Can, which can one? I which which one's the, the ten? Which one's the ten? The only the one you have the left. Is the one that you have. What? You mm -hmm. gave you one gave, of the bills. You old gave man. one of the bills for your crowbar. Yeah. Oh. Which one is There's the a ten? Blue one left. The the yeah. blue one in your hand. Okay. Here. Here. And I, I, I just put it on the table and I just smile at Creme Brulee. Just... Creme Brulee smiles back. I'm willing to pay her. <laughs> she does excellent. Please. Uh, she's going to reach over and put her middle finger on it and very slowly drag the bill toward her. And when she, as she does that, she glances between both Aji and Vitani and just sort of winks at both of them. And then stuffs the bill inside of the top of her toga. Again, a lot of cleavage. And then reaches down and picks up the black arrow and holds it out to you, Frappy. Yay. Thank you. And she takes it and she doesn't know why, but she just bows. Let me send you that. I would just like to state for the record that as creme brulee did the thing with uh, the middle finger and the stuffing it in the toga with the tits out um vatani heat flared she would just her entire body temperature just shot up her hair ruffled the cracks got brighter a little bit bigger she just said awuga without saying awuga <laughs> <laughs> Drake, no. Drake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. I'm so sorry, YouTube, but there's. I will not. I will not justify what just happened, and I will not explain it. Just, just know that I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Chris, is that a weed? I'm calling the police. Oh shit! I have weed. I wonder if I can barter with that. I mean, oh, is that good. illegal here? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna let you know. That's, I guess no. that's what I'm always afraid. It's not. I'm not making weed illegal in this universe. I refuse. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless well, I'll you. wait to the next stop, shop then. There's nothing I well, really want in here. There are two more arrows, but then there is the surplus shop. So, is this all you guys wanted? <sighs> I mean... As far as weapons go, yes. What does the whip do, <laughs> by the way? It's just a basic whip. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, not even a plus one? Damn. You get to make Indiana Jones noises. <laughs> you know what? Do that with <laughs> it wasn't in- okay, it's it, useful for other things. Yeah, it wasn't in the fancy box. Oh, uh, yeah, That's that true. would be enchanted. Gotcha. That's true. Let me look for All right, I still do want to go to the um, surplus, but I just I do want to say that I cannot be vertical much longer. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, are you guys leaving the shop? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Before we go to the next shop, can Miss talk to Oji for a second? Are you yes. just gonna pull him aside? Will you guys go yeah. outside to have that small conversation? But before you fully leave. Um, Pemberley is going to come out from behind the counter, and she's going to reach into her top again and pull out a card. And who has Sugar's calling card? Is it still Rhea? Yeah, Rhea. Uh, uh -huh. roll me a perception check. Okay. Wait, did we already run into Sugar? No, no I have her no. calling card. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh wait, perception. I gotta actually add things to that. Sorry. Uh, what is my perception? Fuck. Plus three. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, that is a calling card. Okay. That is straight up a calling card. And she's she... handing it to Batani? Yeah, she's handing it to Batani. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and she just closes Batani's hand around it and pats it and goes, Maybe we can talk more later. You and your friends soon. Keep busy. Have a good day. And then she just walks into the back again. And Vitani watches her ass as she goes. 
great. Damn. You're very busy. Very, very busy. Not too busy for that. Oh, you are very busy for that <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Let's go to the surplus store now. Aww. She's just gonna she's gonna tuck the card into her bag and then follow everyone. Little sad. Very much turned on. Very blue balled right now, but just fine. She's when you patient. leave the shop, by the way, uh Vitani, the enchantment wears off on you, but it does not wear off on Aji. Oh shit. Hmm. Are you guys sure there isn't anything else to buy? There's lots of great stuff here. I mean, but our uh, funds are. Un- All we have uh, left is the cart. Well, you know, you know, it's not my money. <laughs> Mist is gonna look like kind of cork an eyebrow because this is clearly <laughs> unusual behavior for Oji, and she's gonna shake her head and be like, "No, I think we bought enough here. Thank you, though." And she's just gonna kind of start pushing him out the door. Mm-hmm. You didn't get. You didn't. See this crowbar, it's amazing. No, it's great. Show well, me in the sunlight. <laughs> she's she's a fellow enchanter. Can I out of character suss that there's like some sort of magic trickery afoot, or do I just know he's weird or you've known him your entire Question. life, you can tell. Okay. Question. Yeah. Um okay. once we leave, uh he doesn't. He's gonna look. Zulaman's gonna look at uh, Oji uh, and his behavior, and also be a little confused. And he's just gonna go to lean over to Mist and go. Um, she was a succubus, and I think she did something other than the 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 point of exhaustion sucking thing that she did to Vitani, which we are outside. Okay. You're outside now, yeah. And yeah, just I, I just, here? I just found her delightful. Oh God. Okay, well in that <laughs> case, who finds anyone delightful? <laughs> Miss is gonna look at uh, Zulamar and say, "Is there anything you can do to fix it? Because this isn't normal." Uh, he's gonna think for a second. <laughs> I don't know if cure wounds would help any here. I don't think so. Well, I'm not wounded. I'm clearly okay. You guys are acting weird. You're acting weird. Well, I, but I recognize it. Under a spell. Look, Something's look. wrong with you and you don't see it. Look. How many actual enchanters have we encountered so far? I don't know. Me either. This is our first but, place. Right. Now, you have to understand, I'm trying to figure my own shit out. And uh, where we're from, I was ostracized for it. Here, it's just out in the open and accepted. And you don't think that I'm going to find some sort of interest in that. It doesn't need me, mean we need to buy everything in our store. Just the interesting things. <laughs> I have a crowbar. Very interesting and shopping about five minutes ago. Something's weird. Well, you were shopping for clothes. I don't need clothes. I need a crowbar. Crowbars are useful. Look, weapons are useful. We're survivalists. We go out into the danger. We need good weapons. Am I wrong? No, I'm just... I don't disagree, but she also seems suspicious. You'd rather not stick out. 
I mean, of course she seems suspicious. She had the full smoke coming out. And she was, everyone down here is weird. How is that suspicious? Oh, I just meant said she was a succubus. Well, that thinking that we were above our bodies. Well, now you're, you're just being racist. You're, you're kind of cutting oh. out. Now, now, now you're just yeah yeah Amber. Uh, sorry I had to lay on my bed again. Um, she was just saying that not that she was a succubus, but the fact that um, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Just the fact that she seemed suspicious of the fact that we could be from up above or looting those from up above. Well, perhaps we should have pressed that. I'm just saying. Like some out. outfits that blend in might seem silly to you, but to us, it, in another area, it could be beneficial safety precautions. All right. While we have this conversation, we are going to make our way to the surplus store. Yes. Well, so is Oshi still clearly under some sort of spell, though? Because Mist wanted to talk to him, and now I'm not the, sure if he's... The spell is going to slowly wear off the farther away you get from the store. Okay. So, right, well, just as you walk into the surplus store, who here has been antiquing? Or to an antique shop? Me. Me. You have all. You know I have. I'm not sure what you said. You have all walked been into to an antique shop. Oh. You walked into an antique yeah. mall of sorts. Shit. The tiny shop that you saw when you first walked in, it's enormous on the inside. It's so big your brain can't comprehend it. Red miles. Cool. There's pretty much a mix of just about anything here. So, for this sort of shopping session, it's not about me telling you what you find, and more you telling me things you would like to find, and then I tell you if you find it or not. Hmm. With one or two items that I'm going to throw at you guys. I know Oji was looking for a shield. You were going to give Mist something at the surplus shop. Mm -hmm. I could make do with the stuff to make a shield. I don't necessarily need a shield. I am absolutely fine with taking the time of just grabbing stuff to make a shield and then making it myself down the road. Um, actually, um, no, oh, wait, no, never mind that. Yeah, shield, let's go. Um, oh, actually, I know something that I'm looking for. I'd like to find a jug, preferably one that is nice and customizable. I'm not letting you have a mayonnaise jug in this campaign. <laughs> Ew, what? <laughs> but it can make oil. Drink. And water. Drink. And maybe. I am the god of this <laughs> universe. I like I like how we can have t you know ones that shoot out pigeons and we have like a no man but you is too far draw the line <laughs> okay, at Andrea nine. might need oil <laughs> I can I can mayonnaise oil yeah no we're not doing mayonnaise oh, I didn't no. say that oh the jug is for oil. Yeah. Well, with the jug, well, it can it, make it, anything. It, I won't so, give you. It, I won't give you a jug, but I will give you a oil can, just a little oil can, like a handheld oil can, like the kind that you would find on like the Wizard of Oz. That that can't make that into an alchemy jug. <laughs> no, no, you can't. But if you need to use it for Andrea, you can. You'll also find a bunch of other bric-a-brac. So if you want to, you know, customize Andrea some more, you can. And I will give you yeah. a shopping cart's worth of, you know. Just random shit to, to yeah. make Andrea out of and that sort of stuff and some more tea green bic Yeah, because yeah. Because I want to armor her, uh, arm it, arm her up and just, because, you know, computer bits is not exactly the best armor. But um, we can improve this. 
Miss. You go wandering through the aisles. Everybody's sort of split up, and you all are like, we'll be back at the front in however long. You're wandering around, and as you are wandering, you come across, you know, shelves with old clothes, and boxes that have old coats, and bags, and books, and things like that. And then you're just flipping through some things, some bags, and then you you find something. You pick it up, and you look at it, and you feel magic in your hands. Tell me right now, yes or no, do you get it? I'm not going to tell you what it is unless you say yes or no. Sorry, you cut out there. Do I what? Do you get this magical item that fits in your hands? I didn't think I was allowed to take anything, though. He won't, he won't, he just, he'll tell you what it is and what it does, but you have to say yes or no. Yeah, but I, 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 no, no, I know, I know. It has something to do with your carrying capacity. He said that he had been meaning to offer this option. So. Then yes. Yes. Congratulations, Miss. You now own a fanny pack of holding. A bag of holding? No, a fanny pack of holding. A fanny pack of holding. Okay. You were cutting out. So all I heard was holding, and I was like, what? Ooh, fancy. I knew it had to be some sort of holding. Do you have any sort of like stats or anything that I need to know about that, Governor? Uh, I'll give it to you after the game. Okay. Is there anything else that anybody is specifically looking for? Um, Wait, they, they have used clothes here? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I'll look for some. I'll look for something that's you know, like that's been around for a while that I can like fix up and some weathered and, and clothing. Really good. Yeah, you know, something you know, nice and 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 functional and and because you know, I might need another coat. Yeah, sure, and I'll even give you a little sewing kit. Yeah, well, I could I could make that myself, but yes. Cool. Awesome. I have a tinkering kit. I already have a sewing kit. I don't need a sewing kit. Huh. I thought you said you needed to look for one. Need on thread in order to make clothes. That's before I realized, wait a minute, I have a tinkering kit. I don't need to. I have <laughs> Goodness. That. Oh yeah, so yeah. I, I think everyone would be interested if there's anything to improve AC. Yes. Especially since, apparently for a barbarian, my AC Um, you know what? Post your ACs in uh, the below chat. Those you have the highest ACs. Let me just see. AC, it. Mm. Batani's is 13. It's lower yeah. than. <laughs> Zulu bars. Well, she didn't really find one or two things. I can pass it up. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. I mean, my HP is already higher than everyone else. Or no, actually, I think OC even has higher. No, I don't. I don't have that high. Yeah, no, I don't have high HP. That's no. I'm, my max is forty-one. Yeah, I've got sustained though. That you know. Uh, Vitani, I'm going to say up your AC to 15. For AC what? 15. <gasps> yeah, up it to really? 15, yes. You're cutting out. Sorry, I don't know why. You're okay. Just letting you know. So, plus two to AC for Vitani? Yeah, call it the boots and the jacket. Awesome, alright. Also, Vitani, while you're looking around, you find a bunch of what you first believe to be leather scraps just on a shelf. You pick them up and you're holding them and you're turning them around this way and that, and then the more you do that, the more you realize these aren't just... Oops. Uh. 
Aww. She needed to go back to being horizontal permanently. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That's understandable. She can finish the rest yeah, of Yeah, she said she'll watch the VOD later. Yeah, I'm almost done. Um, okay. These aren't just leather straps or scraps or things. They're all connected, and they have buckles. And they sort of... When you put your finger on one side of them, it's the leather itself sort of shifts and spreads to cover your finger. And then when you remove your finger, it shrinks again. And you look at this and you're like, what is this? What is it? And then you hear a cheep from your shoulder. Natani, roll me a d20. Okay. Waiting for it to show up and down below. Yeah, it's sending right now. There it is. Yeah, cool. You look at Yuji and Obara. And uh -huh. You look at these straps. And these buckles. You look back at your little babies and then you go, Oh shit! This is armor. <gasps> this is shape-shifting armor. Armor for them? For one of them, yes. Or for mm -hmm. me. <gasps> for them. For one of them. One of them will get armor. Oh! You know what? <gasps> oh, oh! I'm gonna give it to Yuji. Oh! Favoritism. Listen. Nobara's gap is scrappy enough. Exactly. Plus, Yuji's. Selling point is right his up. sturdiness. <laughs> <laughs> Ahsoka, is there anything that you think you might want to find at this surplus store? Uh, I don't think so. All right, <coughs> that's fair. <coughs> oh, sorry, you're good, Zulamar. Um, I just had a thought, uh, he kind of wants, I don't think he brought anything with him other than his one, uh, paintbrush from his grandmother. Mm -hmm. So he really wants, uh, like a little traveling sketchbook paint book, um, and any sort of paints. All right, so you go yeah. looking in this artist section. For some paints and you find some basic sketchbooks nothing's really high quality then you see this ratty bag like a like a painter's bag that they would throw like their sketches in and it's falling mm -hmm. apart hmm? oh i said mm -hmm. yeah the the straps are barely held together they're fraying and it looks like it is an inch away from death. And you reach down to pick it up to see maybe there's something behind it. But as you touch it, there's magic to it. You're cutting out a whole lot. Sorry. I'll wrap up soon. It's magical. Do you want it? Yes or no? Yes. You have an artist's bag of holding. Whoa. <laughs> Does it come with any goodies already? I will tell you after the game cool. because of the amount of cutting off, like like the cutting out that I'm doing and the fact that we're down a player and I think people are kind of just getting tired. Yeah. Uh, I will wrap yeah. up this session. So you guys, after buying things, some that I have mentioned and others I'll mention in the next episode, do you head back to the cafe, or do you look for a place to sleep for the night? What do you do? Well. Oh boy, we are going to be here long <laughs> enough for that. <laughs> Vitani's going to make good on that calling card, is what she's going to do. 
Great. So uh, Zuma is going to be say have be safe. Uh, give a little kiss on the temple, and we're I guess we're gonna go find a sleep for the night. Okay. Uh, there are. I will say there are little, like, like no tell motel rooms at the bottom Ooh. of the base of the tree. So you guys gather one or two of those, however much you feel like you want at that time. And you buckle in and sort through the items that you've recently got and find out just what's going on with plans for the future. And while less questions, even more on the horizon. And with that, that is our game. I will stop the recording in three, 